Welcome to Easy Lathe. This program has been designed to produce and tune G code programs for the CNC lathe under Mac 3. This video shows an overview of the program and its features. The program is set up using four main functions available on a page tab. The first page is the G code editor. This is where the G code is either loaded, typed, or generated. Once there, G code can be modified using a series of functions on the right hand side to make changes globally or just to a section of selected text. Once you have your G code, it can be simulated in a high resolution simulator. The lines of the program are also displayed in a list box to the right where you can scroll through the program and observe the effect of each line. A circle on the graphic is showing where that line is pointing and at the top of the screen here we have all the active G codes listed and all details of where we are on the lathe itself. The coordinates, spindle rotation, speed and feed, etc. This simulator uses tools generated by the inbuilt tool editor. The tool shape is programmed following a few simple edit boxes. So the graphic is what you will actually get with the tool you have programmed. You can however disable a lathe tool on a temporary basis simply to observe the effect of that tool. You will see this corner change because it is no longer being gouged by that. 55 degree tool. To produce a G code program from scratch, the DXF editor. Simply load a DXF and that gives you the graphic and a list of all the coordinates within that program. On the graphics page, we can, by selecting the entities contained in it, in the order of cutting, we can create a full G code program. We will compile a full program here. We've already entered all the necessary feeds, depths of cuts, stock diameters, etc tool to use, we'll change that to something inappropriate and generate a new program. And there is the new program. And we'll simulate that to see the difference. There can clearly see here where the right hand face and turn tool has gouged the job. We'll just come up here and disable that and regenerate and there we are. So DXF processing can produce a program from scratch or fragments of programs, for example, using different tools. Once you're happy with all the DXF processing, often the program needs a few little touches, such as center drill. We can add that to the bottom of the program.
like so and we can continue to build our program in this way and we'll just settle for the center drill and that's almost a complete program up on the top of the screen we have a main menu options can be set here radius or diameter mode metric or imperial we have a speeds and feeds calculator that gives you an instant feedback of what speeds and feeds you should be using simply enter the data required and see an instant effect down here lathe details four lathes can be entered just some basic information about the lathe and initialization strings and exit strings for your programs these are added by the DXF processor we have a threading calculator which is used to produce threads ready for G76 processing simply enter details such as 40 threads per inch OD all the complementary boxes will change for that we are already set for a non-standard radius of zero might help to get the form correct there we go that data is fed over to the left hand side where we can select our tool from our list select our spindle rotation calculate the number of cuts and if happy with all of that generate the g-code and exit and there it is always added to the end of the editor so we'll just get rid of m30 we'll put that back when we're finished and now if all had been entered correctly we would have the screw thread a little bit short no worries simply come back here put it in at 8.5 or regenerate with the threading wizard try it again better in addition and the final part of the program is a simple CAD layout which can produce a few lines arcs fillets etc that can be then machined by the CAM processor this is not intended in any way to replace a full-size CAM program but can generate useful code similar to what the uh, wizards can produce under Mac 3 thank you for watching